All right. So the stream is now recording, and we are. Oh, oh! I better, I better make sure that this says stream now? Question mark. <laughs> no, I'll just delete that. Don't need that anymore. Um. Okay. So first off, I, I know we went back and forth a couple times, and you explained um some of these elements to me already. But yeah, I should have label them again that's okay that, that's that's no. what i was going to ask you not necessarily for labeling but i would just uh, i want to clarify it before i set up shots that i fully understand um what what is going on here right yeah so go ahead and um uh walk me walk me through what i'm looking at you could you could tell me colors you could just tell me what the room is uh I will say that I think I pretty much understand it. The part that I understand maybe the least, which um, I messaged you about last night. Uh, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Uh, yeah, it's it's like this section. I'm trying to visualize how this, how all this works. So that they'd be. Basically, be sort of under that ring, uh, and in the the middle, the top view picture, you can see kind of the yellow. Uh, it's kind of like amphitheater seating, so they're oh, kind of this. all going to be facing uh, the king, mm. and uh, because most of the time, I mean, I'm just thinking like the king's the most important. Like he'll have his other people, but it's basically his words. So, yeah, like pretty much there. Um, and then like if one dude wants to talk and uh, you know have to address the king, he has to walk his ass around and like go through all the corridors. I mean, it's but not a bunch of corridors, but you, you know he has to do some some work while he's gotta doing. he's gotta like come up here like that and then he stands on that podium yeah uh i didn't see the uh the trace the line oh sorry I, maybe is it is there too much of a delay yeah it's just like that five second delay okay yeah is that... so don't um yeah you could go up that way or if the, there's another guy like in the back uh you know behind the king like you know they can walk <laughs> up there but i was wondering if uh, i should include like a like a a ladder or not a ladder, <laughs> uh, steps from maybe that yellow kind of pedestal in the middle, mm -hmm. um, and then it would just kind of go over the the stream. I don't know. I was kind of just trying to fill in something with the water. I knew we were talking about water, but mm -hmm. um, I was pretty satisfied just with the the ring, like that pretty much that area, and then you can kind of see my effort. Kind of, I was like, well, I don't know what the fuck's going on. All right, so uh, the one thing that I will say, um, so essentially your amphitheater seating, and I'm drawing on the side view now, so you'll see in a second. You have your amphitheater seating, and you're saying that people go up to that circle dais one way or another in order to present to the king. Yeah. So it's very controlled, like one guy talks at a time. Yeah, and then everyone, it's like, shit's not supposed to go fast here. I mean, they're all okay. about, like, nature and, like, the root roots take like hundred years to go around, so they're mm -hmm. like pretty chill with time. And then you can just—I was like—I was saying—I was imagining just like you hear the like the drips and then like the water mm. flow while everyone's like sitting quiet. My just, concern, like, my concern would be um, the distance that they have to speak to the king. Like he would have to be—if um, it's an amphitheater, they could just hear him. So, like, just just take these concerns of a grain of salt, um, because again, it's not. There's nothing actually wrong with what you're describing. I think that this portion should be closer to the king. If it's raised up, that's fine. Um, but maybe, because I feel like this is really tall, but the king is, you're saying the king is on the tree roots, like, yeah, so he's like a that. Little bit, yeah, he's a little bit taller, so they can okay. kind of look down on people. No one but he's, he's not just looking down. I mean, he's, like, leaning over, and he's just like, you, you there. Nail harder. So I feel like maybe it's a little too severe. And if the king is seated, well, like... Way, yeah, no, go ahead. He wouldn't be on, like, an angle. I mean, he'd be, like, tucked into, like, those will be, like, roots. I mean, I, like, the, I don't know. But then, the, but, then this, but then this guy, the guy on the podium, will end up being talking down to the king uh, if he's tucked well, in I mean, too you know, far. He's still up where you're putting it, but he's not yeah. at a weird angle. He'll be, like, okay. tucked back in the tree. All right, uh, so I would yeah, say it's really good in that tree, and so you can hear no matter what. It's true. Uh, my opinion would be either to raise the amphitheater up, or 
lower the lower the, the amphitheater seating or lower the king down. The guys hearing on the on the, on the, on the yeah lower yeah. lower it down a little bit so it's not just like it, it works in Star Wars when they're floating around on the discs. <clears throat> I just worry that it's a little too hard to do good scenes involving yeah. all of these elements. It does feel pretty. I mean, you said the guys are far away to talk. But I feel like it's I'm getting pretty cramped where mm. like they're looking just fucking right at the the head and then they're like I mean it, it just feels cramped to me when like the top view kind of felt normal mm. and then when I was doing the side one I was telling you I had issues with scale yeah yeah uh, so I, I lined it all up but I mean it that definitely feels, feels like that yeah I understand yeah. um so I'm gonna say maybe like this looking at your uh looking at your top view I think that. And you could have water running underneath of these seats. I think that the court should be larger. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there could be more people in the court, but uh, and I would recommend looking at Chinese movies and stuff because they have really good court de de depictions. Um, in this court, you would have like just people, right? Like tons and tons of people. But this guy's like a magistrate, or this guy's like chief of of uh, the guard or something. So they're not important, but up here is like prime minister. Mm, okay. And you can do something like if they're seated, <clears throat> if this whole section is amphitheater seating, and then you could still have sections where the water flows. Maybe this divides them even harder by rank. Like this is second tier, this is third tier, that's first tier. But you could have seats and like have them behind each other. And then again, the Chinese... Um, feudal Chinese courts look like this. Um, but maybe up here, it's just like one or two guys. And then back here, it's like people standing. Okay. Um, now, you don't have to do this. But no, I then, like that way more. Uh, yeah. What, what... I had the issue with, I mean, I, I wanted the, uh, the big disc circle thing uh -huh. to kind of be bigger. Or, I mean, I don't, I don't know bigger, but it just felt like putting them all in the inside was just not the right move. So mm. this is uh And then I think it'd be cool choice. to to do to do it like this. Um this is just just again my my thoughts on it. <clears throat> um these are these are what I believe are pretty minor changes to your overall layout. So I don't want you to be uh discouraged or anything. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm just thinking in 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 terms in terms of understanding it. Um so what I'm saying here Basically, you would have, uh, I think, out to like this, and then it would be maybe like this. Um, actually, that kind of makes me wonder if it would be better. Uh oh, it would be better to do the 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 seating not only uh, longer but taller, and so you have one section like this tall. And then you have another section like this tall. So we're saying that not only are the ministers separated by, you know, you have standing room, and then here you have sitting room, but they're like three deep. And then here you have this whole platform, and it's just like prime minister and like chief of military. Well, um, what you can do is have ramps uh, like this, these ramps connecting to a central ramp that yes. goes up. Okay, so basically, okay, Prime Minister wants to talk, he has a ramp that only the Prime Minister and the Chief of the Military or whatever walk on, and then they can go and they present here to the King, and the King is basically at eye level, or they, they're, they're looking at his feet then, so he's not like, he's not like feeling like he's up there, but he would be like, like this tall, and when they come up to the ramp, then they're like kneeling and looking at him, and it's like they can actually speak to him there. So you still have the King looking down on everyone, but then you're saying that there's different levels of status and the circle is broken. Maybe this is the same height as these portions here. Um, and again, it's a ramp that, that comes maybe like this. So at the those sections that they connect at, um, and then this is where they would speak, the sections that they connect at can be uh, attached to the platforms. Um, and then what it will allow you to do is here, and here, on the circle, could be um, like a real, 
can be a really cool, um, like, imperial guy, like, with a spear or whatever, like a, a protector of the king. Or another option, like, because you could do, like, a guy on each section of this circle. Like, he's surrounded by guards or something. That, I, I think, is a fun idea. But if you don't want to do that, then maybe this is where the queen sits and this is where the prince sits. And maybe other children are here and maybe oh, second yeah. courtier or, set, like, the other concubines are, like, there too. So the whole circle is for, like, the royalty or, like, his inner court. The king is still higher up than them. And then when someone comes to speak, they go up a ramp and present. Then it, then it, then you have the, um, it, it collects everyone a little bit more. Yeah. And then you have the ability to, um, it still takes a while or whatever, but you can like just walk, stand up. Um, and I'm thinking specifically, I don't want to interrupt this, but let me just pull up a scene. Um, 3K... It gives that whole circle area with the, the old amphitheater or just space for, you know, decoration and cool shit now since it's not really, a, like, a, people aren't going to be there. So now it could be that, like, root and the water collecting thing, like what we were talking about. So that's, Right. I like that. Um, I am having difficulty finding a specific example but I will find one right now, if you would just bear with me for a moment, because I think it would be great to see it. Um, I believe it's the, probably in the Tin Empire. Um, and we are going to go to a much later episode where he's been emperor for a while. This is about the guy who unites uh, the first emperor of China. And let's see if there's a section of his court. We might we might have to That's not a bad section. This is much a much simpler, like this is like a military camp. This would be a back room. And here is where like the military commander is, so it's a much smaller version of what I'm going to show you. And he has in terms of importance, the people standing there. This would be the same thing, but with them sitting. Um, I will go to a <coughs> excuse me another episode here. I recommend watching this show. Actually, it's really good. Um, uh, there you go. This is a smaller court, but again, it's a court. Back it right here. So he comes up. He's got a little dais of a special symbol. And you could see all of the... One thing that they do as well... One thing that they do is they have all of the like scholars or all of the uh, ministerial positions on one side and they have all the military on the other. There we go. Let me if I could just pull up a pause screen of that. I feel like I'm dragging this out longer than it needs to be. There. So you see all the guys with their cloaks and their military helmets and then all the scholars. Yeah. Uh, this is, um, I believe he's a king. He's not an emperor, so his court is smaller. But the king has, like, long flights of stairs. And I would watch a couple of these <clears throat> um, episodes in terms of just the court building because they do a really good job of, like, especially when they're throwing a feast. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get some water. Especially when they're throwing a feast, because they all, um, they throw out tables for everyone, and the people at the front have more elaborate tables, and I don't know, it just looks really, really good visually. So, again, we don't have to reinvent the wheel, let's pick something that's neat, visually, that we have history with, um, so I think just a couple minor changes to the, to the, uh, the temple section would be really helpful, um. And maybe it's the kind of thing where, um, like, if you're really not important, maybe there's, like, a section over here, and there's, like, guards, and then, okay, you could talk to the king today, or it's not even the king, like, the king's like, bye, bitch, like, I don't give a fuck about that, and they bring, like, a farmer up, like they did, oh, you don't know, in Game of Thrones, and he's, like, down here, and the prime minister is, like, right here, or whatever, 
And he goes, we're ready to, like, listen. Oh, they, they killed my sheep, and please protect us, my lord. And it's just like, oh, God. But, you know, he's not important enough to claim higher up. I don't know. <laughs> Far less important. That's more of, like, a scene than it actually is anything else. Yeah. Uh, but that's fine. I think you get the general idea of what I'm going for. Okay, cool. So then, um, this back section here, behind the throne. This is um, the king's personal court, like we were talking about before? Yeah. Okay. Is so it has, like, the stairs going just right up there, mm -hmm. so it's, like, it's more casual. So, like, you, you were saying, like, the his son can, like, run up and just, like, kick it with him or whatever. Mm -hmm. He can have, like, easy access down to... I mean, it, it was going to be, like, his room, but I realized it's pretty, like, small, so I'm probably going to work with that back but area. it's like his his personal greeting room or whatever <clears throat> yeah, like it's just, yeah his like quarters when he's not holding court he's greeting people in this section maybe he comes back here for the prime minister after court to like discuss things m less formally mm. um a place for him to chill and be king without having to like put on the crown but um that's fine then <clears throat> I think, <coughs> my goodness, I think uh, this section doesn't have to be defined. Like, you don't need to define all these areas yet. Um, they are important, but we will, we will, we will start, we'll start deciding on our scenes now. That's what, that's what we're going to do. Um, this section here that I'm circling, is that this section? Uh, this platform here is that the same as this one up here? Um, that would be the next one over. Okay, so it's this here. It's gonna take a minute. The one on the right. Sorry, it's, a, it's such a such a delay. Oh jeez, it's really yeah. No, no, wow. the, the the one to the. Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. You're right. Yeah, that's that. I that was uh. Okay, so then this this side view hallway is really really shortened then, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Just wanted to confirm that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make a new group. I'm gonna do scene list, and let's go ahead and go over a couple of them. First off, for you, uh, and your uh level of investment, is there any particular scenes? Uh, or shots or things that you want to show that you're really like, wow, that's so cool. This has to be in a scene. Like the throne from the top or the throne from the front or anything like that. Yeah, well, I would like to do the throne better. I just had that 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 terrible mm -hmm. like front view of it. So just like showing the uh, the head just like, like half submerged and like sitting and like mm -hmm. with all the roots going in the water, probably from like a, a low angle looking up at the king. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, another like three quarter ones, uh, just kind of looking down on the whole, the like the disc area, kind of look. Yeah, I guess it would just be looking down, so I could maybe throw like the roots in the foreground, like to shape, the, you know, to frame it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I did, I mean, I didn't really touch too much on it, but in that first, uh, in the far left of the side view where I ended it, that, uh, which would be in, like, the middle of that hallway, um, that, I kind of want it to be some sort of, like, there's going to be pillars, and in the center, either a statue or fountain, uh, it's just some collection of water with, like, a cool, I mean, I don't, I don't know what the statue would be, but it would be kind of just a cool entry of the hall, I think would be sick. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um, that's, uh, I mean, that's enough that I've thought of. <laughs> I mean, that's like pretty much all I've thought of. I'm going to include uh, the design choices that um, I listed here, just in case any of this has overlap, uh, which I'm sure some of it probably does when we're making choices on what to draw. Uh, Computer. We'll scooch that up and we'll make this a little smaller since it's not really, really important to see right now. Um, 
Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to start making choices. Feel free to chime in. Um, I'm being arbitrary, and I'm also not, if that makes sense. Um, I know what I want to see, but at the same time, uh, this is a process, and I might not quite get it right the first time. Um, I think it would be good to do a wide angle shot where I am going to be drawing over and I will save them out when they overlap. Um, I would like to be looking at it like this. And I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say actually let's broaden that and bring it over. So, I think like that is good. Uh, what that looks like is something like this, coming from a, the other perspective. Or I should, I should say it's a bit more turned, like this. And I am planning on trying to bring this into SketchUp. Uh, or right, SketchUp. so that, that, will, that will really help you, especially with me doing it like this. Now, I'm not... Um, I'm going to explain shots so I'm gonna leave them up and I'm yeah. going to save each JPEG out uh, after I explain it and then uh, you'll have like a shot list that you can reference uh, again this is not exact it's a top view side view so um, bear bear with that and make good choices when we're when we're going over it but essentially the blue shot we're gonna we're gonna call this um, no, we won't call it a throne. We'll call it. I actually should. I actually should put text, and instead we'll call it court overview. Over there. Okay, court overview. Um, and what this looks like. Actually, it'd probably be easier if I just um draw the box. What I'm wanting to see uh, and maybe I'll do it like later on I'll like afterwards on the stream I'll sit down and I'll start like what I'm expecting. I think um, perspective wise I would like it kind of turned. That's too extreme. I guess it's more like that where you have the start of the ring there, the end of the ring there, and the king's throne. And then you have the ministers and the ramp up. So looking at it like this. Um, if, that, if that makes sense. So then we're seeing like, let me see what there were. This is the ramp that goes around in a circle have the roots that come in and down and it's mostly just kind of like if we were standing here on the map uh, I guess I better put I'll put an eyeball or something if we we're standing back here and looking up through the ministers like up and over them so maybe there's like people here so you see heads and there's just one guy and he's talking to the king And you don't have to put people in it to start with. We can just lay out the architecture, block block it in. Don't have to get um, super, super detailed. Let's just figure out where things are placed in the world. And then once we lay these out into this format, um, we will decide what we can reference for our architecture and carving and roots and we will decide if there's something that has to be designed. And if there's something that has to be designed, we can cover that then, or we can do all of the designs in one go. Um, we'll figure that out when we get there. But um, does that does that make sense, like what I'm asking for with this one? Yeah. Okay, so I will save this as a JPEG, and we'll keep going. We will not do it that high. There we go, because it'll take forever to load. Um, Great. So then the second one, 
which I will make green. Green. Okay. The second one, um, I think it would be nice to do another, I'm going to call this one an establishing shot. Um, someone could be on this bridge, we'll pretend, looking at it this way. So it's a bit more visible. The you are here star. Um, or I would say they could even be up here. I will I will leave that choice up to you. But I would like a front view of the whole this whole section. Um, and what that would look like is someone here looking up. through these windows, these picture frames. So you see kind of everything. Uh, in this particular shot, we're looking at everything being um, symmetrical. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at the king. You can offset it a bit. We're doing the rule of thirds. And we're looking at his circular dais. You're looking at the. This is a uh, not correct perspective, so I better try that again. Um, the king would actually have a much smaller throne. This one would be like that. It'd be like that, and it'd be here, 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 here. And there'd be lines, and then they go up. So let me see the the roots, and you got the head and everything, kind of similar to the ones that you've been drawing already, in terms of just a general front view of the throne. Um, but this will show off this section, it'll show off the roots, it'll show off the stone head, it'll show off where the uh, administers or whatever courtiers sit, and then if we decide to put on any like uh, lamps or something, like the Japanese uh, spirit huts throughout, then that's something that we can show here pretty easily, I think, in terms of uh, decorative elements. But we're looking mostly at symmetry with this one. So I will call this a uh, front view throne area. Okay. Save that one out. I apologize for like pausing and saving out each one. I just want it to be as accessible as possible. Yeah. Because um, yeah, I don't want it. I don't want there to be. I want it to be clear. Um. So then we're coming into yellow. Yellow. Um. Yellow. I think it'd be really important to do maybe a more challenging shot. Um, I'm thinking like this. Um, and we're looking like into this section. We're looking down into it. So this would look basically like like this. We're pick the same color. We're looking down. Uh, what this is going to be showing off <clears throat> the whole whole section is like a, a cube or something. What this is going to be showing off is um, the top of the throne, the top of the dais, the streams, which might be harder to see, and that whole cenote look. Um, if we don't want to just do a straight top-down view. Uh, I will say that doing something more along the lines, again, whatever is going to make you happier, more along the lines of slightly angled view, like we're looking down one way, um, or I guess you could look at it like this. 
Should be thinner, I suppose. We're going to do the right perspective, maybe more like this. And you're looking down at it? Kind of like, um... Looking through it like this. And then there's the throne and the dais around it. So we can see things at a slight angle. So we don't want it to be just a pure top-down view. That is a little bit, maybe a little boring. Um... So let me just get that. We want it long like this so that we can get everything in there. And what that one is going to um, be accentuating, again, um, a symmetry of a sort. We'll have the, the, the walkway and maybe the ends of the ministers. And I don't think that you'll be seeing the dais, but you'll have um, the throne and the king, and then we could have the, the water underneath of it and the roots coming in from a slight top view. Uh, and you could have someone, again, partially down, and then the king looking at them. And that's kind of an interesting shot to me. Um, again, if something like this doesn't work, then it doesn't work, and it's not for nothing. Uh, I, th I think it'd be important to try. So I'm going to say yeah. top down throne. Kind of looks like you doodled a angry little monster. Uh, you're right. I'm glad. I'm glad that you got it. See, the, that's that's the oh. Let me save it first before I get silly. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will. I will just start getting silly with it. Uh, three. Okay. Ah. Eh. Eh. That's the guy that lives inside that cenote. <laughs> eh. He's got his like nose there. It's kind of strange. My laptop. Um, it's not even direct connected to the to the Ethernet or anything, but it has like a second or two quicker. I can see what you're doing. It's so strange. It's so strange because um, I have it so that there's no <clears throat> um, no delay, no stream delay. So really it's just like how much I'm uploading. And right now I'm uploading at, or my bit rate is almost 2,500 kilobytes a second. And it says that it's excellent and that it's like it's just doing, it's just at a whatever, standard line okay I, know the... I, I don't know what the fuck you're saying <laughs> Brandon <laughs> okay um <laughs> this would be a cool shot to me uh which looks like this and I'm gonna pretend that you are in the other aisle looking at the other ministers what what are the what do ministers look at when they see each other that'll just show this and it'll almost show the imperial nature of these guys in a way um i don't think i actually have to draw that one because it's it's basically just the side view but again i don't want it to be a perfect side view i would prefer it if the character or the camera is i should draw an eye i should draw an actual eye that is sad. That is not anything that anyone can look at. I don't even understand what's happening to me. Wait, oh, they're just gonna, we're gonna get in there and just, ooh, look at this, look at this eyeball. Seductive. Okay. And I want to be like hovering. If the minister is here and he's sitting and he's looking at the other ministers, I want the camera to be up here looking slightly down at them. Gotcha. So this is, um, we're going to call it over, above, minister, shoulder. Because <laughs> that is what it is. Uh, and I will save this one out. So were, were you thinking on uh, keeping it asymmetrical and just having the seats on just one side, or were we going to do like the military important people on one side and the uh, you know scholarly important people so um, still ranked by the height of their mm -hmm. you know? Seat. I was not I was not saying it to have asymmetrical. Whether or not you split them based on uh, military or scholarly, or we could say. Um, Whatever, whatever the split is, that's up to you. Um, 
you don't even have to split them like that. It could even just be like title and rank. Like you're rank 36 and it goes like starting on the first block, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then goes to the other side, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then it goes to the other side. So really it's it's just um, whatever you think is most appropriate. The only reason I said mini, mini, uh, military versus scholar is because they do it in a lot of the Chinese films that I watch. And um, I mean, it makes sense in some regard um, to have either or. But um, again, it's really it's arbitrary for me. Uh, it really is more what makes sense for you. Um, another shot that I think would be good would just be of of the king's view. So looking from the king of whatever he'll see in front of him all the way down this long hallway. And I think that this could be really fun if you have a perspective piece because then you have the dais here and then it's like even like one point perspective like really extreme the hallway goes like tiny yeah or it could be like the king like someone standing next to the king looking over his shoulder so everything disappears here and comes like out like that i would almost never put th something in the center um if you're doing like first point perspective because i think that's really boring um however there, and like Kubrick. Yeah. Uh, however, it, it does, like, it gives you that whole, like, you're getting sucked into this super long hallway effect. Yeah. Where it's like, whoa, it's like stretching out before you. Like, the king has to fucking stare off into space. Um, and it might be nice to have, like, the bar down here. So we're looking at everything, like, wait, is he looking up? The horizon line is higher. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Um, the king's horizon line is up here. Um, so, no, no, I was right. Fucking fu fuck you, brain. Trying to trying to front with me. Um, he's looking at everything from up high, so everything is like tiny and below him. And the ministers are like there, and then it just becomes like tiny little things and pillars and flags or whatever. But like. He sees, like, all of that. And maybe there's, like, a waterfall or something that's fun. I don't know. Um, yeah, but, I mean... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out something for that uh, statue. Magic Springs, you know? Yeah. Just coming from... <laughs> well, all right. So, you want to you wanna make me feel like a dumbass? I got in a huge argument with Lisa. Um, because she said photosynthesis makes the trees pee. Obviously, there's something lost a little bit in translation, which is fair. Uh, and I was super grumpy, and I'm like, I fucking know how photosynthesis works, Lisa. Hold on, let me just do King View. King's View. You're sounding pretty abusive right now. Yeah, I you're know. fucking right. Yeah, no, I was, I was, I was smacking her with a biology textbook. It was getting violent in in Brandon's house. Um, but I'm like, I know how photosynthesis works. Like that's like trees don't pee. She said they pee out clean water. The leaves pee clean water. And I'm like, why would the tree? suck up clean water and then put clean water out it doesn't make sense like if it peed out some other like it had proteins in it or you know whatever i get it but just straight up h2o fuck you no i don't think that's possible it's not part of photosynthesis not necessarily it's part of something called transpiration she said that the area around trees is more wet because of it and i said the area around trees is more wet because they're providing shade but no the roots suck up water, and they only use get get a little of this three to four percent of the, all the water they suck up is actually used Whoa. for growth. Whoa. Ninety-seven percent of it is removed via the process of transpiration. Essentially, uh, in order to create capillary action within the leaves, which is what helps them absorb carbon dioxide, they need to do something with the flow of water through their bodies. Um, and then like essentially what's like dew would collect on the leaves and then falls down and drips back onto the floor or is wicked away by the air but they do pee basically they pee out their leaves 97% 97, 97 of the water that they suck up they pee out their leaves that's fucking hilarious actually <laughs> it is and I'm just like I'm like oh, what, what what fucking stupid 
So if your tree has this giant, like, root system, maybe it's, like, peeing. Like, the tree is, like, weeping all the time. And it causes water to be dripping or pouring. Yeah. That was, like, the... Yeah, I guess not. that wasn't to the extent uh, I was thinking before. But yeah, Matt, we're about science, the, the okay? Science. The what? Science, yeah. Matt. Yeah, science. Tree pee, all right? Like... The drippy roots just make more sense. No. They do. Like now, you could be like, actually, it's called transpiration. So, <laughs> <laughs> I felt I felt dumb. I felt dumb and bad. But then I I had to argue and say, no, that's not photosynthesis. So, ha. Huh. But I was fucking super wrong. Now the internet knows how wrong I was. What a jackass. It's like one of those cartoons where like the donkey head appears on me and I start like. So. <laughs> um. Okay, so then another scene. Um, <laughs> this is dumb. I think... I think that is interesting. Um, Alright, so this is a little more... This color, I'm actually going to change it because it's a little bit more difficult to see exactly what I'm wanting. So we're going to make this one kind of like a yellow. Like a pea yellow after this conversation. Uh, that actually doesn't make it any fucking easier. Um, teal? Have I done teal? No, not really. Oh God, Matt! I of all the colors in the world, and I'm running out. We'll do purple. Oh. Highlighter, purple. All right. Um, great, perfect. There we go. So I'm thinking it would be cool, maybe a guard or a servant or someone that like has to fetch refreshments stands here, in between. Underneath the auditorium seating. And... It's in the wall. Well, I'm pretending there's a pathway or a small bridge or something that they stand on. Gotcha. Um, again, if, if no one stands there, like I'm just saying let's put the camera down there and the camera looking up. Kind of an awkward shot, in my opinion. You'd be seeing this, but you'd be seeing really just this. Uh, and it's coming like here, like you're looking up at it. Uh, what this would look like, or what this would give us, is we have a shot similar to one of the other ones we just did, but you're looking, you're looking at this seatings, maybe like this, I suppose, <clears throat> and you're seeing the underside of the walkway. Ooh, yeah. Okay, and maybe you just see like someone's feet um and i don't know maybe there's something cool underneath of it that's that's something to figure out um but someone's view like looking up underneath the walkway sounds kind of interesting because then you see like some of the ceiling stuff don't know um i will save this out and we will call it in between seats looking up okay not, I'm not really not sure about a couple of these, but I just feel like it's an interesting shot showing um, some form of the architecture or something. Um, good boy, Ray. Brings us to one of the last two. I think it would be good to show... Um, I don't really want to say the ceiling but kind of the ceiling, if we are over here, we're looking out one of these three directions, and we see this here. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, what this would look like is someone standing kind of like this, looking slightly upwards or maybe it catches the um maybe it catches the bottom of the ministers but i'm i'm thinking i want to know what's going on in this space over here i want to know what's going on in this space we want to see some of this action what's going on kind of behind the ministers there's a lot of um architecture and geometry that you have over here 
Um, is there a shrine? Are there little offering bowls? Like maybe when the king makes an offering, he does it there, and then he walks over and dumps it in the water. Um, is there a really nice, like, uh, maybe you've seen some shows or whatever, again, my Chinese stuff, maybe there's like little ladies dancing and they're having a dinner party and then they can all like watch over there and watch over here and there's two sets of dancers, um, like a stage. Or there's like musicians, court musicians. Um, or like I said, shrines, or maybe there's a, like a, like a, this is another section where um, you could have a big stone head, and like another stone head that's maybe smaller, and there's like a shrine built between them. Um, what what we place in these sections, these scenes are supposed to um, be dictating. So this I'm going to say um, from ring into back area, question mark. Or I'll say back area or side area, the back side. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. So that one, I I really like that because um, what what we're trying to do right now is this is where we've set the roadmap of geometry so that we can build up scenes, and now we're gonna start doing conceptualizing what is in those scenes. We're looking at the amphitheater seating. Well, now we're gonna figure out what the seats look like. Now we're I'm saying this area that you designed the shapes really well. What can we put there? So on this scene, let's draw up the geometry. Let's lay it out with how the like what what essentially I'm saying is the the geometry is never going to change like the stonework, the way the room is built. So let's do that right now for all of these, right. and then we can both look at it and be like, uh, okay, Matt. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I miscounted somewhere, but for eight is what I labeled it as. Um, <laughs> for for eight. Um, I think this would be great as a, sh a shrine. I think this would be great as a stage. I think this would be great as whatever. And yeah. then you can do like three separate sketches for this one scene. And then we'll say, ah, you know what? It's a shrine. And then we'll go with it and we'll take it Sorry, to the end. I'm getting a call from work. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So let me go ahead and just continue on with the next one. The next one actually let's let's do let's play in the back. I think it's super important to go here. <laughs> That's all. It's like the uh the coordinator she's like trying to be like oh it's okay if you go to like vancouver on monday it's like well that's it's my job dude and you're <laughs> you tell me to go I, I go and she's like oh my gosh i love that attitude i'm just like do people give you shit for like <laughs> for the job yeah. yeah i don't know it's just it's funny i was like yeah man it all works anyway sorry it works go, go i works it's good um now this is another area that I think would be good because it shows the difference in attire, it shows the difference in throne, it shows the difference in optics and perspective. Um, again, I'm basing everything on like the Manilian Chinese shows that I've watched, but I love this area because, um, again, wherever you put this person is not as necessary. He could be looking up, he could be looking down, he could be sitting down here and looking up. I just want this section. Um, yeah. We're gonna call this. We're gonna call this back private throne. Um, I love this because this is where the king greets his son. This is and, and and what's awesome is usually again not always, but I like these scenes because the king is like in pajamas, and he's all fucking chilled, but he's like talking about passing laws and really important things and then it's like all right that's enough refreshments it's time to go talk to the court or court is in session exactly yeah yeet and just rolls up no but he does he stands up and then like his um his uh 
grooms, uh, not groomsmen, his uh, fucking chambermen or whatever, they stand up, they bring his robe over, they dress him, they put his crown on, he gets all ready, and then he walks out with to fanfare and sits on his throne. So maybe this throne, it's it's elegant, it's detailed, it's um, royal, but it's like comfy. Yeah. It's like a couch or whatever. Like it's, he still maybe hosts foreign dignitaries here. He still hosts maybe another king here. So it has to be nice, but it's like, bro, we don't have to fucking sit on the stone head right now. Like, my fucking ass hurts. <laughs> um, he's getting his feet washed and rubbed in here, whatever. So, but yeah, I think that's a, that's a good one. I think that's a good one, and I think that's an important one. Because in terms of design, it, um, it lets you come up with something um, like the king's under robes or the king's leisure robes and the king's leisure throne so it's another way to to not stretch what we've already thought of or our list but it's another way to define it and show it if that makes sense um again this area that we were talking about that backside area i was like, thinking of having a giant drum there one thing that I've seen again. Fuck, man, I watch too many Chinese shows. But this is turning. Well, we were talking about Japanese, Chinese, pretty similarly related in terms of like roots. Um, maybe all the courtiers are like down in in that first entry hallway, and I am hovering over it. But instead, I'll draw over it. Um, they're all like chilling down down here, or they're chilling outside in like a lobby, and then you have a dude right here with a big drum, and he's like. Doof, doof. Yeah, the gong, the really cool gong. You see that video? I mean, I guess uh, I sent it as we were starting this. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't listen to it, but yeah, a big cool gong it's or something. Gong. It's pretty. Nuts. And just like bang, and then like wait, and then bang, and then wait, and it's like then everyone knows. Okay, it's time to go to court, and like people like out fucking way far away are hearing that shit, and it's like ah, court is starting. And so, like, there's, like, a little old man, like, <laughs> like, running up the stairs because he's fucking late as shit. Ah! Oh, no. So, I, I love that shit. Like, this scenes like that. I love it. Just love it. Um, court overview, front view. Uh, giant doors on him. And yeah. And he's like, no. Um, something else that's fun is they, uh, they, like, people that remove their shoes before court and they remove their their shoes and their weapons and all these other things um so there's some really good scenes where like there's just a pile of fucking shoes over here and then like all of this they're walking in their socks except the prime minister that bitch gets to keep his shoes on he was bestowed with the nine beads of triumph uh, he gets to wear his shoes in court <laughs> it's it's an actual thing <laughs> The, it's an actual thing. Like the emperor can bestow, I believe it's like the twelve royals or the twelve, the twelve treasures, and you can wear your sword. You can have this. You can ride a carriage through this part. Like maybe he, the prime minister, gets to ride a carriage up, and everyone else has to take the fucking stairs. And they're like, God damn, this guy. I wish I was prime minister because he gets to ride a carriage for six miles, and I have to walk it every morning. <laughs> Straight up thing makes for a lot of fun. Um, I think that it would be great to do a shot where your character is here, here, or here, and you are looking at the throne room from far or away, here, again looking up, looking at the throne, so you would see like basically all this. If you need to figure out like what I'm trying to do in perspective, like what you're actually seeing, <clears throat> I start like a frame there, but what it really means is like you would see like this. I'm saying you're looking through that box and then there's like another box that is connected to, or you're looking in the frame is here. This is what the focus is, right? Yeah. So I'm saying like when I put the box around it, that is where the focus is. And this is all like background information. This is all foreground information and it just shows this area. Um, I don't know if I've made that clear or not. Um, so this would be, uh, from the front looking to the back or from the entrance, entrance view, maybe, uh, where the gates are or soldiers guarding, 
entrance view again look at a look at a ton of period piece videos period piece movies um japanese movies chinese movies shows focus on throne room scenes skip through it if you have to look at the courtiers look at how they greet the emperor um to get ideas on what are some of the things that they would have there um something cool something really cool since we let me save this out fucking hell before we get into it Whew. uh something that i think is awesome this one's number 10 although it's secretly number nine because your boy can't count <laughs> um something that i think is super nice is water clocks they don't even have to be very difficult, but water clock. We're talking about what can go here and here. Maybe someone built, and it's like a big stone face with like runnels cut into it or something. Like the statue is, and it's got channels cut into it. Or maybe along the nose, water falls. I'll make it blue. Water falls and then streams down the nose and drip, 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 drip. Or again there's those big bamboo ones uh or, i'm sorry not big bamboo ones i don't know if you've seen it but it's basically like one of these numbers and then this part is is cut and it sits on here so the water pours into it and then it falls and goes clink and then the water pours out and it's like after like a clink it fills up something and then a clink and then it fills up something and then a clink and it's like this giant like giant fucking trough and then it goes boom and it hits the gong that'd be cool like it comes down hits the gong and water splashes everywhere and then goes down into the uh cenote or whatever and that's how they keep track of time this is the fourth gong since the king's been talking like jesus christ <laughs> how many gongs will this meeting last uh we're hoping for a half a gong frankly but uh henry you know likes to run his fucking mouth <laughs> just an idea um again these are some of the cool things that we can do here to show character and world building and why in my opinion sticking with this throne room sticking with this temple the complex there's like so much here yeah there's as much here as we want there to be um there's as many character factions as we want to be, and people are as simple or as complicated as we want them to be. Putting people in robes with an interesting sash and just saying, oh, this is the minister. Something that I would like when we get to, we're not doing that right now, so I'm not going to distract us too much, but it'll challenge you, I know, if we're doing a page of characters coming in and saying, oh, well, there's just simple robes and a headband. And then it's like, okay, that is the eunuch. What is level two, like a minister? Oh, he's got simple robes, and he's got a cool belt. And that's how we know who... This reminds me, I found... Um, it might be that same Carlo Bugatti guy. Um, Bugatti? I found it when I was looking up all of other, his other stuff. I don't know what this is, if it's just like a coat hanger or what uh, oh. this shape is really fucking cool and i want that to be something so yeah that is excellent um fucking i couldn't tell you what that is supposed to be for uh i will tell you that it's for whatever you want how about yeah. that the miracle the miracle of art or some cool fucking oh dude i always think of a cock guard i always think like here's your legs and then the the stuff comes in like your your uh your belt comes in there, so behind it is like a sash, and you have robes all around it. But that's what that's what's guarding your dick. Super important in medieval times, the cod piece. <laughs> I always go there first. Um, but no, what I was saying with the characters, it's like level one, level two, level three, level four. Like if your character's leveling, and the prime minister's got like a big old hat, and he's got like fancy fucking holy Toledo. He's got a staff and everything. But that way we can we you can create a visual guide so you automatically know okay here's a bunch of level one dudes and then if we're seeing a scene 
again, if you've designed this as a page, and we're seeing a scene later, and you just got a guy here, and he's standing with a simple rope, you know, oh, that's a eunuch. Like, we already know that because I on the on your presentation or on your portfolio, the page before had these guys, so I already know what's going on. So conceptualizing and all that, don't get don't get too think about it. Don't get too wound up. Don't get too worried about it. We're just trying to do the geometry, right? Um, but what would be helpful for me is on your page, you can you do like we were talking the scenes, or you do it in 3D. We'll discuss in a second how you want to do it, and you label it all out, and you have like you know whatever's going on and then you could you could have that and this is like the main the view the angle the perspective everything that we asked for and then you could create a, a duplicate of it and on one of the copies come in and say section here here and here and just say I think this could be this this or this or I should say this this or this over the white and you could label them out like bullet point like it's an altar, it's a this, it's a that. Just so we have notes of what we're thinking of. And then I could be like, oh man, if it was an altar, that'd be great. And then we just research, get a bunch of things of altars on it. Do, 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 do. And then we could take it, plug it in, and then when we draw it, we have all the reference done. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, I know, I, could, I just looked over to see what the delay is on the stream. So this is when I said, a do, 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 but funny thing is now um, the uh, the main TV is faster than the laptop. <laughs> so fucking weird, man. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. But... The beauty of the internet. Um, so, so this is nine to play with. This feels like a lot, but I'm asking for you to put just as much effort and detail as you, or I should say just as much thought, but just as much actual drawing ability as what you put in the top view, the side view, stuff like that. It's the same thing, we're just adding in perspective. If you're gonna build it in, so that's why I wanna ask you, are you wanting to draw this, or are you wanting to build this in 3D, or? Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to build it um, in 3D, and I mean, not super crazy, but I don't know how, I'm gonna try to, you know, get you know all the stairs and stuff, and not. So, just... my 3D skills are pretty weak. Um, they're actually pretty, pretty, pretty weak. Um, but I do know, in Maya, when I was doing Maya, that should tell you the last time I touched 3D, really. Um, you could take the image of the side view or the front view or the top view and put it on there. So you could just build it based on that and then turn it and then build it. You know what I mean? Can you, do yeah. you, so, so you're going to be doing that? Yeah, I'm going to Okay. do it in SketchUp, though. Yeah, SketchUp. That's way better. Actually, I lied. I've, I've done SketchUp. I've touched it. I would say building stairs and stuff like that, if you can get everything if you do as much as you can I'm just going to do like a generic I mean I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time that's what I mean I can dig up out of that at uh, the royalty free library yeah in place. I'm going to try to do that I mean the odds are there's not going to be much but um just for at least I'll get the main sh shapes and then if I need to you know throw in stairs I'll just I mean stairs are there's a couple I mean, of it's just yeah it's just a couple extrusions or it's a ramp you know a ramp yeah. even works um, yeah. Great. So then what I will say, what would benefit me the most, um, so I will, I will close off this portion here, and uh, deliverables, what I want to see, um, you don't have to deliver it all at once, but you could say, say shots one, two, three, and four, and those are the ones that you saved out. I just want to know progress updates, right? Don't worry about finishing it. But what would help me is, so you're going to build that whole throne room out. If you have one, two, three, four, and you say these are all for shot one, and the angle's just different, it's like that, or it's like this, or it's like down, but it's all based on that shot that I submitted and said I wanted to see. Is that making sense so far? Uh, yeah. So, like, <clears throat> use your, <coughs> excuse me, use your, um, your judgment but save out, if, if you have one angle and you're like, no, nah, this is perfect, then just save it out like that and you're good to go. But if you want to zoom out or zoom in or turn the camera a little bit to like make it look nice and give us a couple more options to pick from, I think that would be a really good idea. Oh, yeah. 
uh, especially if you're going to be building yeah, it out. So I build it and it's going to just be like, like you know, because I've kind of I don't know what that uh, one underneath looking at like the feet. Stuff. I have a feeling that's probably not going to turn out. But yeah. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm going to try to move it around and not just. Sorry, Brandon, you put it here, so skipping this one. And then I'll just be like, oh, okay, well, you know, that's <laughs> okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> I know you're trying to have me show, so I'll try to yeah. keep within um, the boundaries. But, like, if, if you take it and you turn it up to the right and you think that looks more interesting. So, like, that's what I mean. Just save out a couple options and we'll choose. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll label them and we'll go over which ones would be a better example of what and what we can actually show in them. Because this is going to be pulling out, again, the, the this is the roadmap to pulling out things that we can design. And things we don't have to design but just put into the scene. Especially if it's on that list in terms of factions or whatever. Um, all we're trying to do right now is follow a, a guided process so that we know what to choose. Right. Um, great. So besides this, any other questions regarding this stuff? Oh man, you friggin' nailed it. I think I hey. have uh, my work cut out for me. Yeah, bro, you know it. Uh, and I will upload... <laughs> you know it, bitch! No, and I'll upload um, all of those goodies. Did you, did you take a look at my fucking shoal dragon? Uh, <laughs> I did. Is that, is that the right word? Shoal. You can call it that, sure. It's whatever you want it to be, right? Uh, that's, that's It's feeling much better. It's feeling uh, feeling much, much better. Uh, the the perspective. I'm gonna make you like it. You're uh, like, oh god. Make it stop. No, the shell going into perspective is nice. I feel like. I feel like uh, actually, I feel like if you come off the side, with like a extrusion of the shell. Like towards like the same angle that the head's coming at us. Like feel. not, we don't want it to be flesh, but like if the shell has an extrusion, like a flat part that comes off there, and the flat part that comes off, yeah, we wouldn't that, see it. Maybe that, that'd yeah, work. Hold it off even more, because that's like sort of what I'm doing. Or um, adding the lip of the shell up and over, so we could actually see like an entrance. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. and if you're really attached to him, then um, then drawing. I think uh, let me just pull up an example. If we look up, uh, is this the right phrase? Hermit crabs crawl out of the shell, but there's enough space for them to go back into it. And what I'm trying to find, I kind of wanted this guy to just have like grown a little bit. Too I don't big. Know, we were talking about both. But maybe he just grew too much and he can't. That's that's fair. You could do that. I was just thinking it'd be funny to have him roll up in a way so that his head is covering the hole or something. I'm not seeing the exact image that I want right now. But when a hermit crab is hi hermit crab hiding in shell, actually. Hermit crab hiding shell. You'll see what I mean. There you go. They close it up and it's just like their claw covers the entrance. Right, and I thought it'd be funny to have his like head. He's like, Meh. <laughs> like, and his head is all hard or something, or his hands are hard. Um, but that's how they protect themselves. They just suck themselves up into the shell, and it's just their claw covering the entrance. Oh, that's sick. Right, I mean, like, or it's like all their legs covering the entrance because they're so uh, plated or whatever. So I don't know, just something to think of. Um, he could be too big for the shell, but like he could suck himself into it and like cover the entrance. You could then you could do a uh, like a before and after shot of him like out and then like showing his head covering the hole. Like how does that how does that work? Um, maybe he folds up his arms like a little like guy and then crawls in sideways and puts his head over it. I don't know. Unimportant. He could just have a shell. I just figure if he has it, he should use it. <laughs> but yes, no, he's fun. So I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to stop this recording and stream here. Um, thanks for joining me again, Matt. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>